a Dyson light bulb multi floor or the UP 22V, I think, current sort of mid range, middle of the road, upright, mains powered vacuum cleaner from Dyson. This one is into me because it's not working very well and it needs a full refurb. So, we're not doing the full refurb part today, but I thought I would go through this and see just quite how bad. One of these is, which can only be a couple of years old. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How? Ah, oh, you today. Oh, hi. I've done my stripping of machines, I've done my washing, and now we're on to filming. Whew. Busy, busy day. Yes, this came in today, actually. Just the lady said, it doesn't work properly. Can you have a look? And immediately, I think it works fine. It's just really, really clogged up. Bless it. So, we're going to have a look, and immediately, if we take the bin off, in fact, we best use it first, haven't we? There we go. We can see it's doing what they all do. Every bagless machine, my V11, gives it a very good go. Just makes itself ever so dusty. Right, let's let's turn it on first and get an idea of what it might need. Oh, obviously it could catch fire, and that could be her idea of it doesn't work very well. Oh, where's the birdie? There's the birdie. There's a very strange sound coming from the floor head, which sort of signals to me that it might be clogged. Let's yeah, take this off and have a look up there. No, the hoses seem in good order. They sit under there. This isn't fab. A bit of hair wrapped around it, but that's not terrible. The big brush rolls on here do seem to make a difference. What is quite possibly an issue though, oh crikey, how does one of these come off? Oh, I've not done one of these for ages. Oh, there we go. It's been a while since we've we had one of these on the channel. Oh. There we go. This is what made my V11 head break. Packed itself full of dust so much it just cracked part of the housing. Oh. Well, it's not working very well. This is probably causing no end of drag. And the problem is... You cannot really get to it. We're being quite lucky here in that it's sort of coming up. <sighs> coming up and we can pick it off, but oh, blimey, that's probably not going to be helping. The rest of it seems okay, though. Probably best get that big clump off. It's still being fully refurbished because it needs it. Already, I can sense plaster dust. <sighs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So I'll put this back on. I think these just, do these just click or do I have to push the slider back down? Ah. Uh, oh. I was struggling with the DC40 the other day as well for the same reason. Oh, right. Uh. Let's have a look at the filter because I bet this is going to be Spotlessly clean. Spotlessly, spotlessly, spotlessly clean. There we go. That this poor thing isn't very happy. This is the new filter design that will blow out. It's very dusty, but it will blow out. And this outer part, I won't do it right now, comes out and can be washed. I probably won't wash the other filter. It will airline out perfectly well, so that is a key. How the heck? 
there we go that's going to be a key thing come on look it slid on its side as well for some distance poor thing but i suppose these aren't shiny and new anymore are they the one that we got because it was clogged up with christmas tree hair when they were brand new was a rare treat hello can I help but have noticed something which you could probably see as well? I'm not an expert, but I don't think that's quite how the hose, which is identical to a DC41, that end at least, this end, very different. Don wrong. Ah, kill. So that's also not going to be helping. I don't know if I've put much effort into putting it on if I'm going to take it off again soon. But at least that will work okay. So, what's this filter going to be like? Oh, that's pretty though. Yeah. There you go. You can screenshot that and use it as your desktop background. Yeah. Oh. My goodness. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's the key issue right there. This thing has been used for DIY. And it probably did fairly well to a point as well. It's probably cleaned this up. Still. Oh yeah, I unplugged it. Poor Dyson light bulb, bless it. Cannot really blame it for its current state because they're just not built for it. Plaster dust is lighter than the cyclones, even on a Dyson which has the best cyclonic system of the ball. Despite many other problems, it does have the best system of the ball. So obviously, if you think this is bad, think of what a lesser brand would be like. And it's also going to be my first one of these apart, which is going to be great because. I do feel that a lot of resemblance is with its older sibling, the Dyson DC40. You work click down. Dyson DC40, which is basically what this machine replaces. I mean, I don't think I can put the bins there. The bins, oh my goodness, the bins fit each other. No way. Uh, oh, do they? That's cool though, you can, I don't know if it works, so I'm not turning it on because that DC40 is done. Oh, it fits one way, oh, but you can't fit the 40 bin. Ah, look, it won't go over that notch. <laughs> there you go, look, you can fit a Dyson UP22 cyclone to a Dyson DC40. Should you be so inclined? Oh, God, you're being a pain there. Get on. Ooh. So yes, I'm hoping that at least on the bottom that you wouldn't tell if I did that. <laughs> oh God, you really wouldn't. That's quite shocking. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, UP22. Little first look video. When we see this again, it should hopefully be roaring with suction once more, ready to tackle dirt and I shall tell the owner to not use it for DIY. But until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I and this will see you soon. Bye bye.